study for 10 hours a day. You don't need time to play in your life. Because you're the heir to the company. Good school, good job, and good marriage. We'll arrange everything. My name's Yahiro Kawada. My father, Kamo, and mother, Katsuki, raised me strictly from an early age. They are both business owners and believe in good academic background. I didn't have any doubts about that either. No, you could say that there was no room for doubt. The day after I was accepted into university, my mindset completely changed. Hmm, I see. So you've been listening to your parents ever since you were born. Her name's Kotori Takahagi. She's an older woman who lives nearby, and we were only acquaintances. This is the first time we've spoken. She spoke to me today, as I always had a gloomy look on my face. Jeez. Well then, you're the same as me. I can't leave you alone. When she heard my situation, she murmured that. Hey, is that kind of life fun? But I've always lived like this. Have you ever felt jealous of your classmates who seem to be having fun? Aren't you feeling overwhelmed by what your parents say? I ran away from that. But I have no regrets. If you don't like it, you can run away. She said it was my choice and smiled. That night, I couldn't get any of my studies done, and I was staring at the ceiling. Is it okay to run away? Why can't I stop thinking about that? I had no friends and was alone. I felt jealous when I saw everyone playing. I felt my emotions that I had kept bottled up overflowing. A few days later, what was the trigger? My emotions exploded for something so trivial that I can't even remember it. Stop messing around! I'm not your puppet! You selfish bastards! What? You? You ungrateful brat! Who do you think raised you? Do you have the right to do whatever you want with me just because you raised me? I'm a human, not Robert. You're not our child then! We disowned you, get out! Well, I ran out of the house, but ended up sitting on a swing in the park, having nowhere to go. Ah, <sighs> no friends, no money. I guess I have to go back to that house after all. Or better yet, live on the streets. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to go back, but it's clear that there are no other options. Oh, I see. That's why you ran out. <laughs> that reminds me of myself a long time ago. When Kotori Takagi, who was on her way home from work, heard my story, she said that and shrugged her shoulders. So, as a pioneer in running away from home, I would like to give you some advice. First, rely on trusted relatives. Relatives? I don't know them. Oh, I see. I guess that was your parents doing. Then she took out her wallet and... What is this? It's a little far away. But there is an inn where my mother works. Just tell her Kotori sent you there. That money is my good luck money to change your future. I was saved by Aniki, but if you don't have someone like him, someone has to help you, right? That was the word that changed my life. Yahiru! More alcohol to customers in Room Phoenix! It's been four years since then. I was working as a live-in waiter at a local inn. This head waitress is Kotori Takagi's mother. I don't know the details, but it seems that she abandoned Kotori-san by leaving her to her father. However, they met again a few years ago, and, although there was some fighting, they were able to reconcile. Perhaps out of a sense of indebtedness to her, she reluctantly accepted me. Ah, <sighs> I'm tired. The party was over and I was hungry, so I headed to the kitchen. It's already past 11 p.m. Whoa, you look tired. Wait, I'll prepare something for you right away. You did a great job today. Have a good rest. The owner and the head waitress, Mr. and Mrs. Tendo, take care of me. Kotori-san is Mrs. Tendo's daughter, but she is not Mr. Tendo's. It's a little complicated, but you can watch past videos. Wait, what past videos? As I was doing this, a cheerful voice echoed through the kitchen. Hello! Oh, Yahiro, you're here too! Hello! Oh, uh, hello! So gloomy. The inn is supposed to be full of smiles and spirit. Well, you're better than when you first came here though. <laughs> 
Shizumi Tendo, one year junior to me. She's so energetic. She was the one who gave me the final push to work here. Um, if I'm bothering you... No problem, no problem. No matter how much we recruit, we don't get anyone. So he's valuable, don't you think? Jeez, I can't help it if my two daughters push me to hire him. Thanks to the words of Umi, who happened to be there at the time, the reluctant head waitress accepted me. After that, I decided to work as a live-in. Of course, it wasn't easy. Hey, you are like a bean sprout, kid. Eat meat, lots of meat. <laughs> Your smile is so unnatural anyway. Just get used to doing the dishes first. Working at an inn is something I've never experienced before. On the other hand, I was teaching Umi how to study. Huh? I don't need to know this kind of formula to work at an inn. And it's been four years already. I was confused at first because it was something I had never done before, but I managed to do it somehow. Hey, Yahiro-kun. Come to think of it, you've changed a lot, huh? Have I? How? At first, you were so gloomy, unfriendly, and unapproachable. But lately, you've been smiling more and more. So yeah, I've come to like you like that. <laughs> My heart skipped a beat when I heard her say that. A few days later, as usual, I woke up at 4 a.m. and was cleaning when Umi came rushing in. Hey, Yahiro-kun, my parents have a fever. They look painful. What? So, we called the doctor in first thing in the morning, and for some reason, we were sent out into the hallway. So, um, what do you think? Oh, things have turned out to be a big deal. This is not good. It is it that bad? Yeah, it's scary. Please avoid contact with him as much as possible. I know it will be hard, but... No way! What kind of disease is it? <sighs> it's a... a flu. Huh? Hey! What was all that dragging about? No way! A flu! How scary! The enemy of the entrance exam! It's... serious. Please be strong. I'm sure that we'll be fine. Hey, even you, Yahiro-kun? Well, jokes aside, I'm relieved. They seem to be fine. And when the doctor went back, what are we gonna do with our customers today? They'll be coming in the evening, right? Maybe tell them about the situation and... It's no good to refuse. There are no other accommodations here. My mom said she would leave the rest to us. That doesn't mean we should give up. I think this means that we should try. I was taken aback. She's different from me, who can't move unless someone tells me to do. I'm jealous of her. Well, I'm glad it was the off-season. Yesterday, there were no visitors, and today, there was only one group of guests. Welcome! I've been waiting for you. My name is Umi Tendo. We decided to ask for help with cooking from an inn we have had a good relationship with. The customer service is done by Umi. I'll be working behind the scenes. After welcoming the guests, we discuss future plans. Meals will be served immediately in their room from 6 p.m. After the meal, Yahiro-kun, you prepare the futon while the customer takes a bath. Oh, I told them in advance that a man would be entering their room. Can I ask you to work the night shift? The rest, just be flexible. Understood. It's just a quick and easy check of the roles, but if something is left out, it could lead to mistakes. Flexible. I wonder if I can do it. At that moment, a loud sound was made on my back. What are you saying? Isn't that what you do all the time? You just have to have a good smile and spirit. <laughs> Today, I am the young proprietress and you're the young master. We're work buddies. Let's support each other. Young master, huh? After that, we immediately went to the kitchen and carried the food to the room together. Excuse me, I brought you a meal. I followed Umi, who smiles and says cheerfully. I also managed to put on a smile and enter the room. Hey, it's here. By the way, can you bring us alcohol too? Young master. At her signal, I left her in charge of serving the meal and showed the customer the drink menu. So we have beer, various types of sake, and shochu available. Hey, what are we going to drink? There are quite a few. If you'd like to place an order later, please let us know via extension. But if you're gonna take a bath immediately after eating, please don't drink too much. 
Okay. By the way, Omisan, you're pretty good looking, aren't you? Would you like to have a drink with us? Huh? I was confused. I don't know how to handle this. <sighs> All right. Work, work, work. <laughs> now take your time, ladies. <laughs> uh, my throat. For some reason, she grabbed my collar to pull me along. Oh, man. He has a girlfriend. Well, just as expected. Too bad. Oh, oh. It's so quiet. Meanwhile, the meal is over, and it's past the time to turn off the lights in the building. It's now 1am. It's been four years since I came here. They're all nice people. When I'm alone, I suddenly ponder about my life and family. I ran out of my house without settling anything with my family after all. Can I stay here? I've been asking myself this question for four years, and I can't find an answer. I guess I'll go on patrol. It was midnight. When I go on patrol, I sometimes encounter customers. Just like this. Wow, you surprised me. It's you. Sorry for surprising you. Are you taking a bath? I can't sleep. Oh yeah, can we please talk for a bit? This is also a service, so I took her to our cafeteria and offered her a drink. It's hot chocolate. Thank you. I think I can fall asleep faster after drinking this. I'm glad to hear that. Then she takes a sip of hot chocolate and begins talking. Actually, I'm supposed to have an arranged marriage after I graduate from university. An arranged marriage? Yes. My father is a company manager, and he wants to form a group with his client companies. So the idea is that his client's son and I will get married and eventually form a joint venture. A so-called strategic marriage? Yeah. How terrible, right? Don't I have the right to choose my own partner? When she said that, I felt so sorry. But there's nothing I can do. I don't have much freedom at home. At least I wanted to go on a trip with my friends. One last time. When she said this, I couldn't help but grit my teeth. She's just like me. My mentor told me this before. Hey, is that kind of life fun? Huh? So I ran away, but I don't regret it. Those are the words that Komori-san once told me. And now, they are my words too. I have no regrets either. I ran away from my parents' home and came to this inn. In life, you have the option to run away if you don't like it. Am I smiling like Kotori-san did to me? I don't know, but I want to believe so. Next morning, the ladies ate breakfast and checked out around 9am. Thank you! Only one of them, Nozomi Komorie, turned around and waved at me. Did something happen between you two? That person is waiting at you. No, we just talked a little. Anyway, let me sleep. A week later, Mr. and Mrs. Tendo recovered and returned. There were five groups of guests during that time. Although there were some minor problems and points for improvement, the overall evaluation was satisfactory. Thank you! The two of you did a great job. You guys are already good on your own. <laughs> But there are so many things to reflect on and improve. It was a low season, too. It's alright. Customer service is a difficult job. It's enough if they went home satisfied. Those two words made me believe that it's okay for me to stay here. We have five reservations today. It's fully booked. I'm not worried, but I hope you both do your best. Yes! Now the busy season has arrived. Even though it's only five groups, it is still a large number of people. Good, especially Yahiro. You've started to look a lot better. Be confident in yourself. We really appreciate you being here. But I'm always bored during this time. There are no customers from checkout at 10 a.m. until check-in in the evening. And since we work from early in the morning, everyone takes turns to take a long break off from work. Come to think of it, it's rare for just you and me to stay at work. That means they feel okay to leave everything to us. Yay! Ah, so that's why. Oh, a customer! Well, come? It is not uncommon for guests to arrive earlier than scheduled, like to leave their luggage behind and go for sightseeing. However, I couldn't hide my surprise at the appearance of an unexpected person. Why? And for some reason, next to them is a college girl who had stayed here the night before. What's going on? Welcome! 
Do you have a reservation? Umi responds in place of me, who is speechless. Yeah, I think you have two reservations under the name Komorie. Yes, Komorie-sama? I have been waiting for you. I will guide you to your room. She looks over at me, who looks awkward, and guides the visitors. However, the situation went beyond my imagination. Komorie-san, this is my son. I was told that they were calling me, so I reluctantly went in the room. And that's what my mother said. Dear Hiro, she's Nozomi Komorie-san. Your arranged marriage partner. Come on, say hello. Huh? Arranged what? I can't grasp the situation. Me and Nozomi-san are both shocked. And it was she who spoke first. Huh? What? My arranged partner is the young master? Yeah, I heard that he wanted to work here after graduating as an experience. He seems like a strong-willed man to get away from his parents and learn customer service because he can go to university anytime. Such a person is the perfect successor to our growing company. I remember what she was saying the other day. Strategic marriage. So this is what it is. Now, Yehiro, stop standing still and sit down. Sorry that he's dressed like that. Yahiro, come say hello. My parents look at me with grins on their faces. Nothing has changed. They have not changed. Do they really think I'll always be their puppet? Um, may I? She was the one who changed that dull atmosphere. I can't. If I go on an arranged marriage with someone who has a girlfriend, wouldn't I be a villain? What? In the first place, I came here to decline the offer if the guy was interested in this, but I never expected the guy would be him. What does this mean? I thought your son didn't have a girlfriend. Her father glared at my parents. Oh, it, it's a misunderstanding. My son has a girlfriend? There's no way, right? Hey, Yahiro, affirm it. Uh, of course you didn't know. I heard from him that you guys disowned him. Disowned? What does this mean? This is completely different from what you told me. Finally, he yelled at my parents. They probably told him that I was a son who listens to her wishes well. But nonetheless, he gets pissed so easily. Nozomi-san must be having a hard time with such a father. Yahiro-kun, what do you say? He suddenly talks to me. Well, I'm the only one here who can prove the truth, so it can't be helped. It's true. Four years ago, I was disowned by my parents and separated from them. And then I ran away. I was just introduced to this inn and started working here. Most of their stories are lies. Yahiro! Yahiro, you shut up! All you have to do is listen to us! That's a pretty selfish thing to say. Then Mr. and Mrs. Tendo and Umi came into the room. I heard that you're having some trouble, so I'm coming in. I'm sorry, but my daughter is marrying Yahiro. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Dad? Yahiro is already an employee of our inn, and a member of our family. And, if you are going to talk about such stupid thing, you don't have to stay here. Get out! I was happy that she said that. You're right. We should get out. And I'll have to rethink about doing business with a company that has people full of lies. Oh, no way! Shut up. I'm too afraid to proceed with a conversation with someone I don't trust. Oh, but please wait! My parents followed Nozomi's father, bowing and clinging to him as he left. However, only Nozomi remained in the room and sat quietly drinking tea. Um, is it okay for you to not follow him? Hmm? Oh, it's all good. I decided to run away from home just like you told me to. My dad was also quite insane, right? I don't want to ever go on an arranged marriage again. I'm planning to leave my parents' house too. Anyway... Is it okay for me to stay overnight? Also, if possible, can I ask the young master and the young proprietors to take charge of my room? In the future as well. It seems like she wants to take this as her first step away from her parents. We granted her wish, of course. Sure, of course. Please feel free to stay at her inn. We welcome you. So she took a step forward. Her story will be told in another video. Now, let's talk a little bit about what happened after that. After we were cut off by Komorie-san, our sales went down. Where did our plans go wrong? If Yahiro, 
If only he had listened to us, we would have been safe. Actually, like me, my parents grew up in a family that only cared about having good academic background. The fate of the people who forced me to do the same without questioning it was this. If they hadn't used a PI to find me, their future might have been different. It's been five years since then. Today, Kotori-san came. Hey mom, I'm here to help you. Kotori, welcome back. I don't mind if you came back more often. Come with your family. <laughs> My husband is busy. How is Umi and Yahiro? You know, right? Umi is in the hospital. Yahiro went to see the little young master. Hey, Yahiro-kun. How should we raise him? Should we make him the successor to the inn after all? <laughs> Let's leave that to him. It's not up to parents to decide. We don't know what people's possibilities are or what the future holds. I never once regretted leaving my parents' house that day. Hi, hi, it's Brittany. Ooh, may meet in another story. I really liked her. I fall in love with my characters very, very easily, so I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you guys too, so I'll see you next time. Bye!